This is question one, um, and we, here we've got a differential equation. So we've got dy by dx is equal to 3x squared minus 2 minus 3x over x cubed. We're told x is not equal to 0, because obviously otherwise we couldn't have this fraction, because we'd have 0 on the bottom. And y equals 5 when x is equal to 1. And we want to find y in terms of x. Um, so we want to find y equals blah, 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 involving x. So to do this, we're going to um, integrate this, because if we integrate dy by dx, we get y, which is what we want. So have a go at integrating this now. Remember that with integration, we um, can do it by each piece. So we can integrate this, and then integrate this, and do this minus this. So let's just write that out. So we integrate the left hand side, as, as I said, to get y. So we have y equals 3x squared integrates to x cubed, and then we minus the integral of this. So how are we going to integrate this? Well, we can split this into two fractions, because it's 2 over x cubed minus 3x over x cubed. So we do that now. 3x over x cubed has um, x on the top and bottom, so we cancel to get 3 over x squared. Uh, just be careful with your signs here. So I've kept the minus out here, and when I integrate this, um, we have a minus here, so when we combine these, we'll make a plus. Um, so, yeah, so the next step's going to be, we keep this as it is, we're going to integrate 2 over x cubed. So that's 2x to the minus 3. So we increase the power, but because it's negative, minus 3 becomes minus 2. And then we divide by minus 2. Um, and that's going to cancel with this negative here, so we get... Um, we get x to the minus 2. We do the same thing to get minus 3x to the minus 1, and remember our plus c. We didn't have a plus c when we integrated here, because uh, we could have done, but these could just be combined with the plus c here to make a new plus uh, constant here, so it doesn't matter um, when we include the plus c as long as we do it at some point. So how are we going to find c? Well, we'll use our, um, the special case we know about. So x equals 1, y equals 5. We substitute that in to here, and we can rearrange to see that 6 is c. So this is our final equation, which looks like this. And so our answer is c.